So it is what it is. The morning run around. It's time for the news. As I was saying, world first has been achieved. World first Sakurath, mythic kill, achieved by Liquid. I mean, congratulations to them again. Uh, watching it live was amazing. I got some highlights here to check out real quick. We can look at those. But here was the live stream. Let's take a quick look at the highlight. This was the very moment, I think, right here. Sakurath's at 5%. Let's check this out. It's fine. Hide, 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 hide. Report it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Keep going. Just chill, just chill, okay? Just chill, just chill. Come on, boys. We're gonna just keep the one. Keep the infinite duress alive. Fucking just external them, I'll call their name. Come on! Go! 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 So epic. Bro, it's such a big moment. Good shit. Nerd screaming, yep. Very cool that they wrapped the music in there, too. So if you don't know, they had pulled before this on a 4% uh, push and a 2% push. So they'd gotten close twice and not gotten it. There it is, brother. There it is. There it is. Um, and I believe Shit. Echo at this, this point had had like a 10% pull or something like that. Has done it. They are world first once again. And Liquid oh. hadn't been world first since... Uh, there's JCP. Wow. Right there. Uh, he's been to the stream. Just saying, the man had a gifted hug. sub to the stream before. Yeah, he's been in here before. Yeah, it's, He had so many responsibilities on this fight. He had so much to be able to overcome. But it's crazy. Oh, they haven't been Mythic World first. Walks across into the healer room. Uh, since uh, Castle Nathria was the last time Liquid got Mythic World first. And since then, it's been Echo on a rampage. Uh, but well, Liquid so finally pulled it off again. At the leaderboard, but yeah, oh. getting some loot rolls as well. Legendary. There's we a, got a legendary. What, what, what part what of the evoker that? legendary? <laughs> Literally yeah, tied. Well, that's, that's probably what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, this well, is gonna be crazy. The world first Method world. and Echo. Method was a bit further behind at this exact moment. Guild, nine out of nine. Echo got a 5% pull just moments before they got this down. <sighs> yeah, and real got epic. Nine out of nine. Liquid is done here. Echo, He's, she Method said Echo had a 5% pull just before this, so, so it was tense. Throughout the Alienware training facility. Uh, I'm a little bit in tears right now. <laughs> um, so Look at my man. Super emotional see my man moment. checking I mean, out the loot? So much emotion <laughs> and tension riding up to this He's moment. like, guys, stop Look celebrating. We got to loot this shit. Look at the GM, Trey. Uh, I mean, yeah, this man. is an incredible victory for them. It is. It is. JPC is the first victory as well. Yes. I mean, a, yeah. a lot of people, but JPC gave his hype speech yesterday, guys. JPC. Hey, in his in JPC, you know, the JPC uh, format. Yeah. Hey guys, I really want to win this. Come on, please. Let's go. Absolutely. Man, it, it, it's so great to see. Dude. Yeah, How epic as shit. I mean, prepping this race, the behind the scenes. <laughs> whether you play WoW or so not, it's see, just epic to see a group of people risk, come together who have been working towards today. something yeah, for so well, long, and then you watch them right. achieve it. Uh, it's just awesome to see. And then everyone's gonna if they waited any longer, I think Echo would have gotten it. Echo did get it yesterday as well, and I think they got it just took the risk. Uh, maybe one or two pulls later. So yeah. Fumes. And you man, oh man. Feel the excitement. Look at them. Look at them. Look looking at, at the loot. Yeah. Him splatter looking at loot. <laughs> looking at the loot. Come on, come on, get him. Oh man. Wait, wait, wait. Can we move that camera up? Was that, See, was that we, tags? Yeah. What kind of what kind of gear do they uh, got? I think they got some good shit. I'm about to I, talk I about some of the loot they got because uh, they did get something cool. They did end up getting the legendary loot itself. But here's another angle again from the uh, from the leaders. It'll be hard to see this. Let me move this up here. So this is me, part of Team Epico here. This is another angle of the kill. This is from the uh, from their leaders' yeah. point of view. Alive. Just okay. external them. I'll call every, their name. Watch it! Watch it! Rip off his head! Yes! Yes! Oh, you love to see it. Yeah, took Echo 30 more pulls to get it though, compared to Liquid. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, it cr it's so it's so badass to see. Like I said, just to witness it. Witness a group of people come together and achieve something great. 
whether you play WoW or not, you can't help but smile when you see it happen. So as I was saying, you know, they got the kill, and then from the loot, something else happened in that uh, that very same moment. Yes! Yes! Nerd screams all around, going crazy. And now uh, you see as they're going crazy, my man's like, let me go check out what we got for loot. It's the first ever world mythic kill. And uh, they indeed got the uh, the legendary item. The legendary item for the quest line. So if you're wondering, what the hell is that? Well, there is a legendary evoker um, quest line, essentially, that starts with the gem that drops off of Mythic Sakurath. But Blizzard did confirm that uh, the item that drops here has a higher chance on higher difficulties, but can indeed drop at the lower difficulty. So that was big for people to find out yesterday because uh, this is a this is an important weapon. I mean, if you're if you're an evoker, you want this. Your empowered spells activate the order magic within, releasing a sphere of order that seeks a powerful ally, increasing their primary stats by 746 and speed by 708. Essentially, this puts somebody into god mode. So um, this is yeah, that's the legendary, and like I said. It drops on all difficulties, but uh, the higher the difficulty you do, the better chance it is to drop. And they actually went on to um, to do the quest online. And if you want to see what that quest looks like, I can link this page here. He went on to do the Evoker Legendary quest line um, online while they were up. So this was really cool stuff to see. By the way, Kaya, good morning. Kaya Hart, good morning. Yeah, so it was uh, it was fun to watch yesterday. The hype was real. I mean, at one point, I was watching Echo. I think they had, like, uh, I was watching Echo and Liquid, like, simultaneously. And when Liquid got the kill, I think they had, like, some, over 50k viewers. So it was popping off yesterday, and, and uh, uh, it was it was cool to watch. And this was, like, one of the fastest Mythic Plus, um, sorry, Mythic World First races in a while. But you know what? I think Blizzard stuck, struck the right balance here. Where they used to try to, Sepulchre of the First Ones was really overly tuned to the Mythic World First Race. Well, this time around, they said, you know what? We're going to make the raid difficult, but only as difficult as it needs to be to be fun. And beyond that, hey, if the Race to World First ends in a week or two, let it be. So be it. And uh, that's what happened. And I think they did the right thing this time around. Well, that's it in terms of World First uh, Race news. We have other things to talk about here. Patch 10.1.5. So with the kill of Mythic World First... That officially marks the end of all 10.1 content. It's all been seen, and uh, it's been great. 10.1's been a very good patch, but 10.1.5 looks like it's going to add some very cool stuff into the game, including these time-walking rifts. So uh, from scenario steps, we see that the rifts will follow a similar format to storm events with clear objectives to close, to close a given rift. Some of these tasks are grouped, uh, grouped quests, likely defeating large elites or bosses, while others are solo objectives, like collecting X number of items. Below is a list of scenario objectives. Yeah, so there's a bunch of objectives you get here. But what I wanted to look at on this post was the different models that we're going to see in these time rifts. Because there's some really cool stuff here. I'm going to zoom in on this so we can get a better look. Uh, because these are not clickable models. But look at this, we got Come, whole gin. Let us lay waste to this realm. Huntress, thank you for the follow and welcome to our scourge. Finally a rift, but less shitty colors. There you go. <laughs> I welcome raids that don't take 300 wipes uh, for a world first guild to kill. 100% tied. Well, um, it was. It, I think this balance of world first was perfect. Uh, Vul Jin. Vul Jin's going to be showing up in this quest line. Arthas. I mean, it's always good to see our boy Arthas. Arthas' model will be showing up as well in these quest lines. Not in his corrupted form, not in the Lich King form, but Arthas of, uh, of Lordaeron. We also see Prince Lane Rin of Stormwind showing up as well. And then some interesting stuff. Malagos here, but in his pre, you know, Gift of the Titans dragon aspect form. So this is like Proto-Drake Malagos will also be showing up in these things. Huntress is my son and is now following you. Oh, thanks, Helena. <laughs> tell tell them I say thank you. Uh, very cool. Families. Families of people now following me. Have I made it? That's it. <clears throat> Nathanos. 
Nathanos Maris. Now, I'm, I'm assuming this is Nathanos Blightcaller, but he probably got Blightcaller later on when he was resurrected. But this is Nathanos before he became a simp for Sylvanas. This is the first time I've seen a human model version of him before he died and was raised again. So this is pretty cool to see Nathanos. Nathanos got annoying towards the end, I'm not going to lie. Another badass model, Anduin Lothar. In a very cool... Uh, I, Alliance set. I've not seen this colorway of this set. Now, this is put together from some of that set from uh, the Human Heritage Armor set. It's a combination of that and, I believe, the set that we got in um, BFA on the Alliance side. <laughs> this is a really cool combination here. And uh, a colorway, again, that I haven't noticed we've seen before, but Anduin's a big lore character. Oh my god. Lords of Cinder with the Nox. Jesus, that thing scares the shit out of me every time. Welcome in, Lords. <laughs> Ursok also showing up. We saw Ursok, if you remember, in the entirety of the uh, uh, Ardenweald quest, quest line. So we're seeing Ursok in his uh, live form here, not dead form. So that's pretty cool to see as well. Ursok's a legend in terms of druids. Um, Olderoth? Well, I'm not sure who Olderoth is, but uh, they're another model that we're going to see. God damn, got me. Yeah, he always gets me. What's up, Lords? Uh, Finduin, we've seen these models before. The uh, the funny Murloc versions. Again, the Murloc uh, timeline is another one that we're going to visit again. But Finduin, Wurgelin, Glugurl. Uh, Dalen Proudmore, hey, who's Jaina's father. Uh, that's another big one that we're going to see again here. Uh, we got the... Uh, the Garrosh version, the Murloc version here. Illidan shows up. Illidan, the Betrayer of Kalimdor. Interesting title. I don't, I don't know if I've seen him have this title, but uh, Illidan is going to show up as well in this model. So that's an interesting one. We see the Alexstrasza Murloc model. Caligos in his uh, dragon, in his dragonflight model here. And then last but not least, we get Jaina in her child model form here. So uh, we're going to see a lot of interesting lore characters in these Timeway, uh, you know, uh, rifts or whatever they're called. Uh, I just thought it was really interesting to see some. Look, Vol'jin appearing again for the first time in a while here. Um, some other NPCs, Rexar, showing up. A bunch of just really big uh, lore characters showing up. So a lot of cool stuff is going to be happening in these Timeways, and I'm excited to see it. I love seeing lore play out in the game, so... Uh, I'm hoping that uh, we get some very cool stuff out of these time rifts. Last, well, uh, technically not last piece of news, but uh, the European mission, uh, Commission has approved Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Yes, that is right. So if you've been following this story closely, we know that, uh, you know, the UK is not part of the European Commission anymore, so they do their own approval, and they actually denied this merger. The U.S. Uh, Commission has not commented on it just yet, but the European Commission has approved it. Yeah, that's right. So this thing looks like it's taking some steps forward here and could and is, uh, could actually happen. Uh, they approved the merger, and they believe the commitments by Microsoft, which included like uh, licensing it out to uh, uh, you know things like Call of Duty and stuff to other cloud platforms, and being able to still play Blizzard titles on platforms besides that which belong to Microsoft. So not making things like certainly Xbox exclusive only or Microsoft based product exclusive only. Uh, Microsoft basically came forward and promised that they would not do that. They have some 10 year agreements set up with, with companies like Nintendo and GeForce and other streaming platforms to make sure that these exclusivity uh, concerns will not occur. And based on all that stuff, the European Commission said it's a green light. Let's go. Yeah, Microsoft is definitely going to get Activision. Yeah, I think so. I think this is uh, pretty much putting it in the bag that Microsoft is eventually going to get this. Now, they're going to appeal the Blizzard rule, uh, not the Blizzard, the British Commission's ruling uh, for the denial. And I'm sure that denial will get overturned. And it, I bet you the U.S. will also approve this. So it looks like this is taking a step in the right direction. I hope this goes through. I do think that uh, Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard is the right step. For this game, I think it'll create, um, it'll bring a lot of resources in to Blizzard Activision that Blizzard currently doesn't have, especially for World of Warcraft. I think Microsoft recognizes the importance of uh, World of Warcraft in terms of the MMO uh, genre, right? <clears throat> we know that um, Amazon has taken uh, major steps 
and trying to ber- get into the MMO game. Uh, I'm sure Google's working on some shit. Everyone's trying to get back into the MMO game. I think MMOs in general, especially with uh, whatever you think, VR, crypto, whatever the fuck all that shit is, MMOs certainly have a place in gaming future. And uh, Microsoft taking this step to purchase Activision Blizzard is just putting them at the very top because they'll own the number one MMO. So it's it's good to see. Clippy Xmox one. I'm just saying, having an alternate timeline, Neltharian become our aspect would be cool. Oh shit! I didn't even think about that. That would be. Yeah. Will they bring? Uh, we're gonna get Clippy as a pet. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I didn't look at any of that stuff. Very cool stuff though from this. Uh, Like I said, I hope this merger goes through or this acquisition goes through.